I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Flowscape. Review copy of this was provided by the developer. This uh, just came out today, probably of the time when I released this video. Um, get that title screen in there. This is an interesting mix of like, it's like halfway between an art program and a terrarium and like a relaxation tool. Um, you'll see in just a sec here. It, it can generate terrain and um, can ha it has some pretty nice little defaults. There was a nice little desert thing before. There's a nice little one of these things now. There's even sedimentary layers. The, the UI takes a little bit to get used to. Uh, I messed around a little bit before this just because it's a little confusing at first, but it's pretty easy to use. Um, there's a help thing, obviously. Nice Steel Series mouse! <laughs> um, Oh, there's some slightly odd reverb on that. Um, rain. Is that just my audio? Sounds fine now. Maybe it was just my thing being weird. Anyway, you can look around. It's great for making screenshots, of course. So, nope. You can just go in there. Um,. <laughs> I moved up the camera speed a bit. It feels weird not having spacebar hides the menu. Great for screenshots, but and like relaxing, but um, it's kind of weird to like go up. But I think it feels a bit better this way. So what you can do? These all control your brush. I know this. Um, there's some. Take a look at the settings. Uh, this game seems pretty performant. Um, you know, just putting a bunch of fancy stuff on screen. But I was actually and still am encoding a video um, while I was playing this, and it uh, ran just fine. Um, so, pretty standard features there. Um, you can do stuff like, do you want items to drop with physics? There you go. You gotta hold uncomfortably long for it to like start the you know tooltip, but there we go. Toggle layers. Paint on terrain or water. There's a lot of options here. What's 15? 15 what? Angle snap. Oh. And you can zoop! Frost it up there. You can plant stuff like. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh god, this. That's huge! It's a, it's a whole mountain! That's. Okay. This is your brush, so like, you can put some sticks. I can't see the sticks being placed. I made this too much. Oh, you can't see the sticks because there's too much frost coverage. And they're pretty small. OBS crash. That doesn't usually happen. That's a big ass tree. We used to have one kind of like this in my backyard. It eventually died. It was like four trunks. It was really cool. And they, they had to cut down like half of it. And it was kind of neat. You could sit on like the, the two trunks that got cut down. And, uh, but. It's all down now. It was it was huge. It was something like this. It was the tallest tree in the area, but uh, I forget if it was starting to rot or what happened. But uh, yeah, it was so tall. It was like, like 40 feet away from the house, and it was still in danger of like falling and damaging the house. It was pretty crazy. I miss that tree. Be a long time before its replacement is that big. Oh, you can get some uh, maples here. Speaking of dead trees, my my Japanese maple out front died, so I was kept waiting for it to pop back up this spring, and it it never did. There's a little bit of variation in the like auto planted things. It's not just the same one brush, so you can have maybe too many maples, perhaps a bit too many. Um, let's get a new map. So you can pick from all of these very Sim City looking um, map thingers. Kind of a plateau. What's this? Oh, it's a terrarium! That is awesome! You get an actual terrarium. That's adorable. Okay, let's make a terrarium. Wait, was a turtle? A <laughs> it's, a <laughs> it's, a it's the land turtle. Oh my gosh. It's turtles all the way down. Oh. That is angry. That is an angry face, Mr. Turtleman. You know what, let's make a beautiful resort on Mr. Turtle's back here. So you can make houses. You can make like, probably need to scale that down a bit. Zoop. 
Uh, eh? Oh, you gotta res- oh god. That's even- oh wait, did I s- no, this is size variation. I need to move size. House? There we go. What we got here? We got freaking a spire from Notre Dame. What was? That's not what I got out of this image. Uh, let's get rid of those. That's ugly. Um, freaking pirate ship? Why not? Little pirate ships in the background, swimming alongside this mysterious beast. Yeah, it's got a little um Japanese hideaway kind of deal. Let's peek inside. Oh, oops. I keep wanting to press space to jump, or to move up, I suppose. Get some rabbits. Get some fireflies. Yeah. Uh, where are the fireflies? Oh, I see them. They're just small, like fireflies are wont to be. I want to have a pet fox. Can I have a pet fox inside? It's probably on the roof, isn't it? Where's my pet fox? I don't know where my pet fox went. Oh! They're all over here! You lazy- look at these lazy foxes. Look, young man- oh. You, you need to move out of here and get a job. Oh, that's kind of creepy. You can give him an x-ray scan. Alright. Let's get some plants up in here. Let's get some flowers! Get some, uh, some of these. Daisies, whatever. Some yellow ones, some pinkins, some of these, some uh, silent princess, lily pads, whatever these are. Yeah, these are the lily pads. Oh, no, they're not. Whatever, morning glories or something. Kind of hard to tell what some of these are from the little icons. Oh, little ivy. Can I put ivy on the side of the house? No, can't. Oh well. Make elephants? Hello, friend. How are you doing? That's... That's an unfortunate angle, Mr. Elephant. I don't know... I don't know if you want to be like that, but whatevs. I'll respect your beliefs. You can change the ambiance here. Loud... Nighttime ambience. I feel like the beach is appropriate for this. There you go. A little loud. There we go. And you can mix multiple ambiences in. Oh, no cicadas, thanks. Oh, it's like a river. Oh, I love river sounds. Alright, I'm just gonna keep Mr. Elephant over there. I'm sorry if I'm not exactly like a real artiste. I'm just kind of messing this with this and showing you what's capable, what it's capable of, rather. I'm sure if you. Oh, oh, you can cycle with. Oh, there's different ones. Oh, oh cool. What is this kind of rock formation called, by the way? I love these things. Oh, neat. I've learned... <laughs> I've learned a new thing. Okay, so when... That means when we go to this, like, Notre Dame thing here. Yeah, oh, you can do different stuff. There's like a freaking aqueduct. Whatever this is, it's too big. Oh, it's a bridge. Same thing. Aqueducts are just bridges for water. Prove me wrong. Oh. There's no inside. I guess you're supposed to construct it yourself. I guess it kind of lets you, gives you some flexibility, I don't know. Um, just boat shack, whatever that is. Little cart. Little Age of Empires. One of these things, gazebos. What is this? Is this freaking one of those castle towers from Breath of the Wild or something? It's some manner of medieval tower thing. I can place the sun? I can play. oh, it's like a light source. Huh, let's put it on the elephant. It's a holy elephant, you see. Or it's an elephant telling ghost stories. That's even better. There you go. And then there was a spooky peanut! Woo! Hmm. What other animals? I want rabbits. Yes. Yes. Give me. Give me all of the rabbits. Yes, thank you. Not, not a lot of rabbit model variety, but that's fine. Just 
Just keep them coming. There you go. That's the good stuff. All right. We can have fish. How does fish work? Can I get water? I think you can get water. Uh, yeah, this looks like it has water. Oh, there you go. Very, very shallow water. You can change to another landscape, random landscape by pressing P. P does, P does not seem to work. Oh, I like this. I love this like marshy kind of thing. Um, let's get some trout and some froggos. Yeah, some frogs. Get some frogs. Let's get some fireflies all over this bee. All up in this. You can't really see them. Let's change it to night. You can change the, um, you can change this thing too. Kind of a night. Yeah, get, get a nice night sky in there. Can I, can I get rid of that? Can I make that the moon? Sun, moon, direction. It says sun slash moon. How do I... I want moon, not sun. Temperature. Direction. Let me see it. Temperature. I can change the temperature of the sun. Whoa. <laughs> I can make the sun go supernova. That's delightful. Uh, lens flare. Real gamers know that lens flare is the only graphical effect that matters. Ambient light. What's that do? Oh, you can make it like glow of its own accord. I kind of like that. But we want this dark. Fog. Eh, the fog effect's not that impressive. How do I make it daytime or nighttime? <laughs> we can have this. <laughs> we can be in space. <laughs> there she is. The Milky Boy. Well, I don't, I don't know how to make the moon. It says sun slash moon, but I don't see a way to make it the moon. Sun shafts, lens flare, sky rotation. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can make it nighttime or not. Sky rotation? No, that's not it. Whatever. It's. <laughs> It's just a really bright night, okay? All right, let's put some trouts in here. Ah, oh, there they go! They do swim around, kind of. It's it's a little bit shallow, but it's fine. This is only one trout model. Whatever. Animals don't move around a lot. Let's just... Where, where are they? I don't even see it. Yeah, I think this water is so shallow, they barely, like, spawn. Uh... Some booterflues. Whoa. High flying butterflies. It's <laughs> you just get to casually have a lion there. Just chilling. Skinny boy. He's <laughs> looks like he's having an existential crisis. He knows he's in a video game. We can have Rhino. There he is. Um, ooh, alligators. Bloop, that is, a, that, is a, that is a big alligator. It's the size of a hippo. That's the world's most terrifying alligator right there. What else do we got? Bird. Hummingbirds, I think. Just have hummingbirds like bees. Is that a cat? Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. There we go. Keep them coming, boys. Keep them coming, boys. There you go. There you go. I think I've seen that cat model in the top right. I think I've seen that when... I think that's a Unity asset thing. <laughs> I th I've seen that in, like, crappy Android games that Vinny from Vine Sauce plays. There we go. There we go. This is like the island of the cats. I like this one digging. He's a champion. Alright. Let's just... There you go, just lots of cats. And a horse. And freaking a dragon, apparently. Oh my god, there's freaking golems! Okay, there's a freaking Gnasty Gnork. Why? I'm, I'm not sure why these are in here, but I, I won't oppose. Remember killing that guy in God of War? <laughs> Skeleton. 
Skeleton Warrior. Okay, the dragon <laughs> and a freaking Ent. Okay. Uh, the, the dragon was honestly already like, why is there a dragon? But can I rotate? How do I rotate? I think there's an option for... Oh, there's multiple drag... Oh, there's a fly-in boy. <laughs> yeah, the dragons aren't... Most of them aren't animated like the fish. Oh, th there you go. That's how fish work. Educational. <clears throat> so, you know. It's made to make landscapes that obviously the wildlife AI, if you want to call it that, isn't much of an AI. But hey, you can rotate the sun with the keypad. Oh, it gives you little hints. Well, that part works. I still don't know how to make it the moon. I don't want it to be the sun. Whoops. Oh, that's the screenshot button. Me. Intensity, height. Intensity does not seem to what? Oh, this is freaking. Oh, oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Mr. Sun, please! This is what the last day on Earth looks like. In including the orcs and Trents. Alright, we've ruined this. We've ruined this world. Let's make a new one. To, to be perfectly honest, the, the, the preset worlds are randomly generated, or whatever they are. They look so much better than anything I will ever make. <laughs> so let's just look at one of these for a minute. Flowscapes. Oh, I love these, like, rocky outcropping thingulets. Put the plants in. Yeah, there you go. Get some birds. Honestly, I just want to look at the random options we got. <laughs> I have no creativity. I just want to see the stuff. See, this is Flowscapes. It's on Steam. I don't remember. Let me look it up. I don't know what it costs. There'll be a link in the description. There always is. Um... It's not out yet, so it doesn't say what it costs. Let me check my email then. Uh, Flowscape. Here we go. V B doesn't say. Planned release date. I don't know why there's no price if it's coming out tomorrow. Yeah, I have no idea what I have no idea what it costs. Go to Steam to find out, I guess. It's weird. Oh, I like these little islands. Oh, this flowscape, clear plants, kill all the plants. Yes, thanks. I just want to see. I don't know why this. They don't have. They don't start with ambience. I thought this game was dead silent when I first started it. I was like, a little concerned. But now you gotta just pick your ambience. Ooh, I like the water ones. I wish there was more water stuff. The water doesn't seem the best to have the best support, but I like when the stuff just like plops into place. So yeah, there's not. I love water. It looks. I like the sediment view here. See the water, like column, but <laughs> there's nothing in the water. I would love one of these, like all focused on underwater stuff. In fact, I got a, I got a couple of aquarium games I need to check out. Um, I don't remember the names of them, but there's a realistic like aquarium thing I have to check out. I'm so behind on all videos. Uh, it bothers me when there's no sounds. There you go. See, this is Flowscapes. Let's look at one more thing. And you can save and load your stuff. Map. This will clear all plants, are you sure? <laughs> um, I have this thing. It's like a watery, <laughs> it's like a wet desert. <laughs> Me, IRL. Oh, I thought that was an animal. That was a tree. I thought it was like a dog that just like fell on its side. And I was like, yes, same. Um, what's map? Map maker. Ark and Forge. I don't know what that means. Uh oh, what did I do? <laughs> I think I'm. I think it's loading something. I messed something up. I don't know what I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, game. I've offended you. I don't. I didn't know what Ark and Forge means. Yeah, it's locked up. It's loading something. But yeah, that's how to make maps. I guess I. I wouldn't be one to do that. 
Yeah, it's loading something real intense. I, I shouldn't have clicked that. But yeah, that's pretty much Flowscapes. Don't click the Arc and Forge button if you don't know what it means, I guess. Um, is that some kind of, like, model editing tool? Yeah, I don't know. It, it crashed. <laughs> let, me, let me start that bad boy up again. But yeah, it looks like it would be a really cool thing to, you know, make some cool screenshots. Oh, and I love this. The, um, <laughs> the button to start the game is called Escape Reality. And so they have some good examples of some crap you can make. I would never be able to make this. Oh, that space sky. I wish that's, I wish that's what the night sky looked like here. We have some moderate to bad light pollution. It does take a while to get loaded, so I think <laughs> that, that's that's pretty much what you see. Um, obviously, not for everybody. It's it's not so much a game as it is like a, you know, a toy, a thing to mess around with. But hey, plays the next music track. There's music tracks. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. There was music tracks the whole time. Right, carrot. Hold on. It has one of those loading things that has like. It does all of the load in like one little batch and this, I don't know why it hasn't, I don't know why it gives you a percentage when it doesn't. <laughs> don't take life so seriously, thanks game. Um, <laughs> yeah, see, it loads entirely in two batches. I'm not sure why it chose the percentage at that point. And what do you mean right carrot change the music? What do you mean right carrot? I'm pressing the period button, I'm pressing Pressing the period button, it's not working. If there's music, reset camera. If this has music, I'm definitely not hearing it. Unless it means, wait. Oh! Okay, carrot does, period rather, but it does work. Music is just off by default for some reason. What? <laughs> I'm not sure I get the point of that one. Okay. It is a little confusing. There's a... There's a help thing that I didn't entirely go through. Oh, we don't... Get rid of that. Deleting. Miscellaneous keys. Slow motion. Rotate sun. Where's the moon? Where's the moon? Sculpting Ansel. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can invent Ansel support. Oh, neat! You can make yeah, yeah. You can make full 360 panoramas with this thing. Uh, OBJ. Yeah, so I was I was kind of right. You can import like real models and stuff into this with dot you know material files and everything. Yeah, this seems pretty cool. Not quite Gary's mod, but you know, if you want to make some pretty landscape screenshots and stuff, there you go. Hello, Mr. Mr. Bluter Flues. <laughs> I I still can't believe there's freaking orcs and stuff. Can I maybe right click? No. I don't know how to make it moon dark. Night. I don't know how to make the moon happen. Oh, there we go. Oh, love big old valleys like this. Where I'm not in a state with lots of big old valleys. Whoa. That's a big ass house. I'm in more of a hills and prairies kind of state. Oh, there's, there's nothing inside the house, of course. Well, that is Flowscape. This is pretty neat. It'd be interested to see if people make some uh, cool stuff in this. Tap tap here. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon, and any relevant links to the game.